Hello, my name is Sackett, and we are playing Enigmatica 6. And the uh, first thing I want to do today is something about our power storage. Now, the energy cells from power are great, and we can upgrade it significantly past the hardened tier. But uh, we're going to want to get some auto crafting and some other things going before we get uh, too far into that. So we're going to make an energy cell... Uh, redstone flux cell specifically from the thermal series and the first thing we're going to need for that is some electrum which we can just uh, throw gold to silver one to one ratio in our uh, our induction smelter also from thermal and get the stuff now the base version of this only holds a million, but we can upgrade it easily, and it'll hold significantly more than uh, than what we have right now, assuming there's nothing bananas in the uh, in the upgrade recipes. And we made this rubber last time. That's the the really hard thing to make out of all of this. It wasn't that bad. And what else did we need here? We needed some iron and one gold. Still have electrum left over? Cool. Make our redstone flux coil. And here's our cell. I'll pop it down right over here. And this works... Uh, same way all the other thermal machines work. We'll want uh, one input and output disabled. It's blue to input. It's orange to output. There we go. So that should keep uh, all of this, at least all of it, running while we worry about the upgrades. Now the upgrades we want to make first our integral components. Now we already made the harden. There's not that much to it. Let's craft this up. And if we just threw this in here, it would uh, it would double everything about this uh, this flux cell. We can see it in the augments. Um, we can now increase the input output to a 2,000 RF, and it's got a 2 million. RF storage instead of a 1 million. Now we can upgrade this again. We're going to need some signalum. So we got a recipe here somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, so we're going to need silver, copper, and redstone. No big deal. Oh, we can just throw it all in here. There we go. Cook it up for us. We got our signalum. Whoop, there we go. Make our gears. And we, we are making two of these because um, we're going to want to put these in yet another machine. The last tier uses Enderium and Lumium. So we're going to need, uh, what, 16 Lumium, which is, uh, what do we got? Silver, tin, and glowstone. Whoops. I didn't want to throw the uh, the components in there. <laughs> I don't think it used to do that. It's pretty cool. I'm going to have to get used to it, though. Now, the next uh, thing we're going to need is some enderium, and it looks like the recipe has changed. Um, apparently, all we have to do now is pulverize it, and then... Uh, oh, okay, no, it hasn't changed. I wonder what I was seeing. Maybe I was seeing ground enderium. And we'll have to put it uh, with some diamond dust and some lead ingots to make up our enderium. Let's go ahead and crush up some diamonds. I don't know. We're going to turn the auto output off. I don't think you smelt these normally, so they shouldn't go in there. So even if we turn it on, it should be fine. Yeah, okay. And we'll throw all this in here. 
make a cementerium. We're also going to need some kind of hardened glass. And I don't know if we might have gotten some. Yes. Got some as a quest reward at some point. That's wonderful. Go ahead and craft up some Lumium gears. Oh, we're going to need uh, two more, aren't we? That's fine. Put these together. And we'll throw one in here. So now, it'll hold four million, right back where we were before. We got more slots. We're not done. What we're going to want, where are those fancy little upgrades? I don't see them. I probably just don't see them. Um, there they are. So one of these, oh, a creative RF coil? I don't even think we can make that. Um, we've got uh, an expanded RF coil that will increase uh, the capacity by another four times and the transfer by four. We got this one, which will do six by two, and this one, which will do two by six. Um, we're going to go for this one. It's really not hard to make. You can use just copper, redstone flux coil, silver. We've actually got way more gold than we do copper, especially after that, uh, that dungeon we tore through. So let's go ahead. There we are. Oh, we got a quest for that. Goodies. Oh, we got a, a reinforced integral components. That's cool. We'll put that in our smelter. Why not? And can you click these in? Yes. OK. So now it'll hold 24 million RF, and that's uh, that's a significant upgrade from the 4 million. It can also increase, it can also transfer 8. Now, what we don't have here is a slot for our jetpack. And that's the next machine I want to work on. Here we go. The old energetic infuser. We just need a little electrum, some more redstone flux coils, no problem. I think we have everything. This wasn't in the new version of the mod for a little while. I'm really glad it's back. Uh, one energetic infuser. Now again, this is just like the uh, the cell. This is uh, you know it's it's only got 500,000 right now. But if we put this in, that'll increase to two million. And we are going to want another one of these. Now, I'll throw this in here. Now it holds 12 million, which is, uh, that's pretty serious. Now, I've added another magmatic dynamo here and put some more resonant integral components in them. We can upgrade the dynamos further. Um, the first thing I want to do is, uh, where's my hammer? There it is. First thing I want to do is increase the power that they have. We're going to use this uh, this flux linkage amplifier. It increases the base power by 100%. It does use a little bit more energy, but we'll be able to make up for that. We did need these uh, these electrum plates, which were easy enough to make with our engineer's hammer and some electrum. There are automated ways to do that that we'll be getting into. Couple more coils. And we got a couple of these. And we, whoops. Oh, these are the wrong things. Okay. Well, we can upgrade the speeds here. What we want is the same thing for dynamos. Um, Auxiliary reaction chamber. In okay, this is what we're looking for. We need silver and signalin. Okay, where were we? Let's see. Uh, this is what we're looking for. Okay, so we need four plates. 
Very good. We're going to need uh, all of the... I keep losing it. <laughs> ah, where'd it go? It's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It moved up there. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, that's not it. Hang on. Okay. Every time you go into a different GUI, these all change position. It's very... I have a tough time with it. Uh, but we can just go ahead and throw these in here. And right now, we're getting 160 RF a tick, right? With these, we'll get 320. Now, they are slightly less efficient, but we can uh, we can make up for that with these uh, multi-cycle injectors. We just need two of these, and uh, these are some Lumion plates. Now, we're not really running a shortage of, uh, of lava in the nether, but uh, this is probably a good idea. Anyway, I don't know if it's really only going to suck up from where the chunk is loaded. I don't think that's what it'll do. But, uh, oh yeah, the Lumion. But I bet we get a quest completion for this too. I haven't been really looking at the quests yet. Um, as we seem to be completing them. Okay, well no quests for this one, but that's fine. Throw these in here. They'll burn up the lava a little bit more slowly. And we've got RF just pouring into here um, and throw our jetpack in nice real fast too wonderful next thing I want to get into is uh, now that we got some decent power going over here is to start increasing our hearts uh, through uh, the spice of life carrot edition and to assist us with that I'm going to use a mod called Cooking for Blockheads. Um, the first thing we're going to want to make, this allows you to build a big multi-block kitchen. If you've seen my series, you've probably seen them before. Um, we're going to need this book, first of all, which is all we got to do is throw a book into some kind of furnace, just like so, and we're all set cooked book. We upgrade the book by crafting it with, whoops, with two diamonds and two crafting tables. Um, this will make the cooking for blockheads too, with which you can use. You can craft food with anything you have in your inventory. And if we make it into a block with just a little bit of stone and a little bit of terracotta, We'll have the, oh, we need more terracotta. We'll have the basic block of the multi-block structure. Cool. A bunch more things we want. We're going to want an oven. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of black glass to make that. But uh, that won't be a problem. I want to get down there. There we go. And some iron. And we're going to need a furnace. And this will allow you to cook with either a, you know, regular fuel or with RF. And we'll very quickly be, well, we're probably not actually going to use this for very long. It's going to be mostly food storage. But in the beginning, it's really going to help us out. Um, we're going to want a couple of refrigerators. And those are just chests and iron doors. Uh, should be pretty easy. Probably isn't going to be enough. There's a lot of food in this. Uh, we're going to want some of these counters. OK. The way the multi-block works is that anything touching the, uh, the cooking table becomes part of the multi-block structure including these kitchen floors. So we could go ahead and uh, and put our refrigerators. That's not the orientation I want. Right over here. 
and whoops, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the oven. Okay, now we're talking. Um, put some counters in. So if we had like say three wheat, do I have three wheat? Let's go get a little food. Okay, so let's say we throw uh, we'll throw the wheat in here. Throw some vegetables in here. Put the melons in there for now. Now if we click on this, we can see everything we can make. Um, we can make pasta with this bucket of water. It'll also look at things in your inventory, including this cooked cod, apparently. We make fish and chips. That sounds delightful. Now you'll see that all of these have these plus percentages, um, plus 8.5 grains. That's about this uh, spice of life potato edition. Like the higher you get these, uh, the more beneficial effects you get. That's why we sometimes have more hearts. Now there's one thing I forgot to put in here, which I definitely don't want to forget. Um, and that is the sink. This will allow us to craft recipes that need water. And in some of these, um, it needs uh, to have water pumped into it. But it doesn't look like that's the case here. So that's uh, that's wonderful. Now there's quite a bit more we can add here. Um, I'm going to want one more counter to go right here. And we're going to make two kitchen corners. Now these are strictly decorative. Um, and, you know, you can use them as a surface, of course, block to set things. It's a real block, but uh, but that's how we're going to make this corner curve around a little bit. Um, so we'll make two more counters. Very nice. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to want to make nine of these cabinets. And these are just more storage, and we're going to go right along the top here. Um, actually, we'll go up one higher. And I think those will look just fine. Whoops. Now, these cabinets aren't connected to the multi-block, so we're going to want to want to have some stuff between here. Probably going to go with tool racks and spice racks. And the tool racks are great. I think we have some cooking tools in this pack. Uh, I'm not super sure. But uh, well, I think we at least have the filleting knives from aquaculture. If you, if you hang a tool that's used uh, in a crafting recipe on one of the racks, then uh, then you'll have access to whatever the tool can do inside the grid of your uh, cooking table. Spice racks are just storage. They're, uh, they're decorative. All right, now we're talking. Of course, water isn't the only fluid we cook with. We're also going to be cooking quite a bit with milk. So we're going to make a milk jar first. It's just a milk bucket, some planks, and some glass. And we are going to put it three blocks down, just like this. And we're going to get a, a cow to come with us over here. How about you, buddy? Go on. Right in that little hole. Go on. You can do it. You can do it. You don't want to do it. I know they fit in there. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Now we got a cow right on top of the milk jar. And we're going to drop an anvil on him because we're jerks. Uh, but you can see what this actually gave us is uh, is a cow in the jar. 
and that will slowly produce milk for us. It doesn't uh, keep it if you break it. Uh, and that'll allow us to supply milk to our kitchen. And we'll just pop it right down here. Cool. One more thing I want from cooking for blockheads are a couple of fruit baskets. Now these are these are just in inventory. Um, like the cabinets or the spice racks, the uh, the only difference is aesthetic. One more thing that we want from the mod is this ice unit. Uh, this, if we, uh, I guess we'll just have to break this the hard way, huh? Hey, where's the snow? Aw, let's try to shovel some up. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I think this is what we're looking for. Oh, it is not. Um, that's what we're looking for. Very similar names. Um, all right. That was easy enough. Stop. <laughs> Didn't expect not to get uh, four snowballs from a snow block. We just need a comparator and those snowballs. And this will let us craft, what do we shift click? Yeah. This will let us craft uh, like popsicles, ice cream. There we go. Yeah, like anything that uses ice or snow. So we've got... Uh, we got a good amount of, of different things in here. Now, this is really powerful. It does have one limitation. It doesn't do multi-step crafting. So if we just had raw beef in here instead of steak, we wouldn't see this recipe. But, you know, still very powerful. Chicken sandwich? I want a chicken sandwich. Simple farming isn't the only food mod that we have that, whoa, we got some lag. Aloysius. My cat's over here causing lag. I'm telling you, Aloysius, it's you. Uh, like I was saying, um, we've also got Farmer's Delight and all of its add-ons, and we're going to want to make a stove to go up there. Oh, we've got two. Oh, okay, we have enough. Very nice. And just three iron. Now you can do the farmer's delight stuff with a cook pot above a campfire, but you can do the same thing with stove. Now we're going to want a cooking pot. Now once you put it together, you're done. You don't have to do anything with uh, with filling it with water or anything like that. Oh, we just need two more bricks. We have bricks. We have bricks. Here we go. Oh, we got to keep the bucket. Very nice. Now, generally, there is an interaction between Farmer's Delight and uh, the multi-block kitchen. This is a pretty well-done pack, so maybe there is? I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't. Um, what could we make with this? All kinds of things. <laughs> What's that? We must have something like this around. Uh, we'll figure it out. And if we're going back and forth, it won't be the end of the world. We're also going to want a cutting board and a knife. Cutting board's easy. It's just planks and sticks. Many tiers of knives. Got to make sure we're getting the right one. What else might we want? We've got these mats. How do we make this? Oh, okay, we'd need canvas. I don't know if we actually use these for anything. Um, we can make bandages with them. Let's see if there's any more kitchen things. Okay, we got pantries and stuff, that's fine. Soul compost? Huh. And what the cutting board and the knife do, is uh, it allows you, can I not put it down on these? 
We'll put it on the crafting table for now and we'll be fine. Um, like, let's say we have some pork chops and we wanted some bacon. Now, we could just craft one pork chop into a bacon from Farmer's Delight. Or, and I think this is how we want to do this, just put it in our offhand. And we'll get, uh, we'll get uh, two bacon for every pork chop. That, uh, that we make. And now instead of making bacon, it shows us we can make cooked bacon with our oven. What will we do with the cooked bacon? Eh? Oh, that'll just uh, fill up the search bar. Eh, it needs a little detailing, but uh, we've at least got the beginnings of a kitchen here. And I think that's going to about do it for this time. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.